Russia is clearly visible from the island of Little Diomede, Alaska. It is U.S. territory, yet located some four kilometers away from the Russian island of Big Diomede, called Ratmanov's Island by Russia. In the past, small planes used to fly to the Little Diomede in winter and land on an icy runway. But with the ice becoming thinner in recent years, the journey is made by helicopters. Former Navy pilot Mike Kutiba has been flying to Little Diomede twice a week for the past eight years. That is, if the treacherous weather allows. It is still out in the middle of nowhere and a long distance in between those places of nowhere where there's absolutely nothing except mosquitoes. <laughs> we have survival equipment, uh, food for eight days um, for if that happened, if we were put down somewhere where we had to uh, support ourselves. Little Diomede is home to the Inupiat village of Diomede, or Inalik. In 2018, about 80 people lived on the 7-square-kilometer island. There are hardly any plants, and that's not surprising. The island is mostly granite and quartz. As for its neighbor, native people who used to live on the Russian Big Diomede were moved to the mainland, leaving the island to host a military base. We watch them 24-7, they watch 24-7. Between the islands and the middle of the Bering Strait lies the U.S.-Russia border and an international dateline. If one travels from Little Diomede to Big Diomede, the short journey will take the traveler straight into the next day, 21 hours ahead. Yet such a trip is not advisable. Mm -hmm. We do get a warning, so. Okay. Yeah. Um, in time, we have none done, we hear shooting. Boom, boom, boom. There are like, almost like 50 caliber shells. Life on Little Diomede hardly changed over the past several hundred years. There are no roads, no cars, no sewage system. Actually, you don't even really need money in Diomede, you know, if you live traditionally. Mm -hmm. And everything is there, except uh, sugar, coffee. But everything is there. Our water's our grocery store. The, all the eggs, more eggs. Millions of birds dwell there during the summer. Um, at least in uh, Chris Auckland's. There's about 30 to 40, about 45 species of birds down there. Mm -hmm. And mainly our diet down there is uh, walrus, but we do a lot of whale hunting, mm -hmm. um, polar bears during the winter. Pilot Mike Kutiba doesn't stay on the island long. The weather is so fickle, he hurries to unload the supplies and leave. But despite these brief visits, Mike and his mechanic Simon are always welcome on this tiny, isolated island. For Natasha Moskovaya and Alexander Bergen reporting from Alaska, this is Anna Rice, VOA News.